Give me the instructions. There's the bell. Uh, I meant to say, fans, that uh, the referee has given the instructions in the dressing rooms so that we can get right to the action uh, without too much waste of time. Mark Lowen, a top wrestler, and uh, Alan Pinto roughs him up quite a bit using knee lifts. Now he's pulling the hair of Mark Lowen. Mark Lowen wants to do a little bit of wrestling in there, but Pinto is starting right in with the rough tactics. Got headlocked by Mark Lowen. Pinto punching. Mark is trying to do some wrestling. Now he comes back strong. He's throwing punches. He picks him up. A tremendous body slam. Again, a big body slam by Mark Lowen. A kick in the chest. And say that Pinto started the rough stuff. But Mark coming back in a hurry. Into the rope. Oh, man, he caught him in a sleeper hold. And look at the way Mark Lowen uses this sleeper. Slowly but surely, Pinfold. Pinfold hits the mat, and Mark has defeated him with the sleeper hold. Pinfold is out cold. He is out cold. What a sleeper. Fans, I've never seen a sleeper hold applied in the manner in which Mark Lewin did it. Mark Lewin attempting to bring him to. Man, he really put that sleeper hold on. There's Mark Lewin, the great gentleman wrestler. And uh, he's bringing Allen over to the center of the ring, or to the edge of the ring. Allen is out cold. I mean, he is out. Mark Lewin is picking him up, and a great man that he is, he's carrying him right out of the arena. You know, ladies and gentlemen, Mark Lewin applies the sleeper hold better than Anyone else I've ever seen he is, without a doubt, the outstanding exponent of the sleeper hold. Now, he's, uh, he has Allen out. I'm wondering if we can get Mark Lewin back here. Ladies and gentlemen, here he is, the great Mark Lewin. Well, Mark, there is definitely an art to using the sleeper hold, and quite a number of wrestlers have used it and used it successfully, but the mat experts throughout the world say that the sleeper hold that you use is without a doubt the greatest. I know it took you long years of development. Are you just not, not something you can just do right away? Well, I shouldn't like to go into it the way I did. I, uh, being my first time on television, I wanted to show some wrestling. And uh, this is the way I like to wrestle scientifically. And uh, this guy bored into me, started pulling on my eyes. As you saw him, very important thing, we're only blessed with two. And I certainly, Mr. Manica, didn't want to lose one. So therefore, I just had to knock the daylight out of him. You didn't want to waste any time, did you, after he uh, did that? Well, I clamped it on him. And when I did, I caught part of his chin in there, which is a more vicious way to apply it. This way, when you cut the uh, blood supply to the brain, it's a little harder to get it flowing again. So I wanted to get him out of here as soon as possible, because I think I really hurt him, which I, I don't like to do. I don't like to hurt anybody. I don't think it's necessary when you try to win a match, you try to pin a man or put him to sleep or whatever your hold is that you perfect and use. And I like to use it like a gentleman. But when he, he went beyond the limits by attacking my eyes. So I had a... Well, you are, a, you are a great gentleman as well as a great wrestler. Now, Mark, I know that you've been in Australia just a short time. Is it possible that in the, in the few days you're here that you have formed any impression at all about Australia? Well, I certainly have. Uh, I had been told by a wrestler who was a favorite of mine, who I admire very much, Tex McKenzie, 
who I met uh, in the uh, San Francisco airport and, uh, upon departing, and uh, he told me that the people in Australia were fine. Well, I have more to say about that than he does. I, I find them the most warmest and sincere people, and I'm really enjoying myself. I haven't seen too much yet, but going to get out and really, really look it over, and, and uh, who knows, I might become an Australian. Yeah, thank you very much, Mark Lowe. Thank you, Mr. Manneker. All right, Pierce going up against Mark Lewin, and Lewin exploding on him. Lewin, very quickly, floats on the man and moves out against him. Pierce having no chance whatsoever, caught from behind by Lewin once again. Lewin, a series of chops, back of the throat now in the front of the throat. And Lewin, ripping, gouging, tearing, striking. A veritable tornado exploding on this man, Pierce. No one brings him up. Two hundred and fifty pounds right into his midsection. Lewin whips him off, catches him in the sleeper hold. Lewin has him in the sleeper hold. Lewin cinching down that forearm coming across the carotid artery, stopping the flow to the brain itself. And again, Mephisto being told to get Lewin off. And that appears to be the only way that can be successfully done, is to put uh, Lewin into a state of darkness himself. moved him away from uh, Pierce. It is now Mephisto's responsibility to awaken this man, Pierce. And Lewin, outside the ring, and Mephisto making sure that he keeps him under control. In the meantime, it is their responsibility to awaken this man, Pierce. It is now, uh, there you see Lewin. And Lewin trying to attack the fallen form of Pierce, but uh, Mephisto bringing him back under control. He talked about him walking to a different tune. He, he marches to a different drumbeat, that's for sure. A tremendous physical specimen. Uh, what's happened to him uh, emotionally and all, I just, uh, I just don't know. What you uh, consider a day or the purple haze, uh, anyone that professes to worship what, what they worship, to me, is uh, total insanity. Uh, they act like that in the ring. Look, look at this. Look. These guys are obsessed with... Uh, with hurting people. They're not the uh, Overhooking the head and the haze catches him from behind. Quick take down by uh, and there you see uh, Luna. Can you tell me what what I'm at? Sullivan and uh, Rupat a few moments ago. He's outside the ring and just totally destroying this man. Well the purple haze being under the complete control of Kevin Sullivan. He is out to win matches. Kevin Sullivan instructs him, instructs him to win. He goes out. He could care less what he has to do. He wants to win matches for his master, Kevin Sullivan. Now, this lover is a big, rugged-looking man, but at the hands of uh, the Purple Haze here, he is practically helpless. The Purple Haze is just an awesome individual. I've known this man for some 20 years. He is a winner everywhere he goes in the world, and he's another one of those individuals that you cannot hurt. If anything, he's masochistic. Here's that Shanghai sleeper, and I'll tell you, when you get a sleeper hold on in the middle of the ring, the match is all over. No question about that. He's got it on him, and uh, Lover's going to Knoxville now. He's on his way out, and that'll take care of uh, that situation. It will be, of course, the responsibility now of either Kevin Sullivan, Bob Roop, or the Purple Hayes. They can't get him to break the hold. 
they finally did. It is now their responsibility to revive this man, and Hayes not even aware of it. He thinks he's still uh, pinning the man, and again, uh, Sullivan. Again, we cannot coexist peacefully. The line is driven clear. It is my family against the Morgan clan, the People's Army, the wine drinkers. You see, the blood is going to flow, Mulligan. The war is on. You've got a matchup in the ring. What, are you going to? You already trying to tell me I don't have enough time? I want to see you. Go ahead. Let's see what kind of match. All right, fans. The match got underway very quickly. I wasn't trying to rush him into it, but I wanted to see whether or not he was going to wrestle or whether he was going to talk. Is Kevin so? Oh, there's the fallen angel. Kevin Sullivan and Mark Lew in the Purple Haze taking on the, one of the Scorpions and the Boston Bad Boy. And what a quick match that was as all four wrestlers are out of the ring. The Boston Bad Boy never got his shirt off. Referee looking around for everybody. Mark Lew in the Purple Haze going back up towards the ring with a chair. Fortunately, all I think he's going to do is throw it into the ring. So I don't know what the official word is going to be on this match. Let's see if we can find out. Did we have a match or not? No match. No contact. Thank you.